Tatum. Welcome back to my top favorite 100 dexterity games. Uh, we are starting on number 60 today, so we're going to be going through all the 50s. If you haven't checked out the other videos, you should probably pause and go back to them. But right now we're going to start actually getting to some good meaty games. Uh, I think the 40s on up are exceptional games. Every game on this list is one that I am like I like to play and dexterity is always uh, close to my heart though there are like the fringe um, last ones were kind of pushing that envelope just a bit but with 60 through 51 these games I will definitely play anytime you ask me to. So without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it and go to number 60. Let's go. Alright so I don't have number 60 but Here's a picture, and uh, it's just Jenga all around, but if you have to twist my arm, I like the variant Quake because um, it speeds up the play. Jenga, for me, sometimes just goes on too long, but with this Quake variant, it shakes it and makes the game much faster. And if you want to play more games and play for a longer time, you can do so instead of just playing one long game of Jenga and then you are the last person to pull a brick and you just, sometimes it feels like you waste your time. So. With that being said, Jenga is a good game, but in my opinion, I like the Quake version more, and it sits here at number 60. Okay, let's go over to 59. All right, so all right, so 59 is Bugs in the Kitchen. I was enamored by this one when I first got it. Me and the kiddo played it a lot. It has um, a hex bug that is going around in this kind of maze-like structure and you're trying to make sure the bugs don't get into your kitchen. Um, or sometimes you want the bugs in there. It just depends on how you want to play, but essentially it's a dexterity game where you're rolling dice and you're trying to flip. Now I wish there were multiple dice. I, in my variant, we all have a dice that uh, we have at our disposal. But other than that, this game is hitting on pretty much all like good dexterity cylinders and it's more of a kids game but I do see adults play this from time to time and have fun. It's a very simple game. I have a review on it if you want to check it out. So we're gonna move on over to 58. Let's go. So 58 is an interesting one here. It is called Ringo Flamingo and it has this board with flamingos on it here and you're you're trying to flick the rings onto it. Unlike um, hip, uh, the uh, hula hippo where you're flicking the ring over the pieces, th this one you're actually like bending the, ring the rings and you're trying to flip them onto. They're more of a bendy kind of uh, plastic and this one was way more fun than the hula hoop um, hippo that we had in the last portion of the list. I do like this. I do not know where to find it, but this was at my um, game my game store and I was able to play this multiple times because it was in a library and I asked them so many times if I could purchase it but they wouldn't let me so uh, if anybody knows where a copy of this Ringo Flamingo would let me know I would love to pick this up myself but I like playing it when I did so that was 58 now let's go on to 57. Speaking of Jenga, this really is not Jenga. So number 57 is Angry Birds Star Wars Death Star Games. That's what I'm gonna say. This has nothing to do with Jenga than this crashing pieces. Now we do have a review on this one if you wanna check it out, but essentially it's a um, catapult game. I don't have all the pieces to this, which is unfortunate, but I still had fun with it. And I love catapult games, especially ones that have, have to do with Star Wars and the structure it comes together quite well and looks pretty darn cool. But it is Angry Birds and the replayability of it is you know so so this has been catching dirt for a while because there are other ca catapult games that i like more but if i had to play a catapult game this isn't a bad one to choose and it sits here at 57. okay let's go on to the next one now the next one here I, i'm sure i thought i had it here um i don't know where it is but i have a copy of it somewhere it is 56 and it's pingo pingo now this is dexterity in the way of you're shooting this little plastic guns. When I went to the convention this year, it was the, the year of like plastic guns. There were like three games that had plastic guns in it. Uh, this one was my favorite out of all of them. Um, but you are also doing different things to, I think it was to a soundtrack and uh, you're running around the table and you're also uh, shooting people's cards. You have different things that you have to accomplish. 
in order to stay into the game. It's been a very long time since I played this one, uh, but I remember having fun with it, but you're going to need a lot of space. I remember needing a lot of space because when you're getting up out of the table and running around and or having to put the cards at a decent length so you can shoot them, you, you need that space. And that is a yellow game, so I like that one. So let's go ahead and move over to number 55. Let's go. Now, number 55 is a Blue Orange game, and we have a review on this. This is a kid's game at Logic Kids Games, and I like this more than I thought it, uh, thought it would. This is Go Go Gelato, and essentially you're taking these cones and these ice cream balls. They're like squishy uh, plastic, and you transfer them over um, in regards to whatever card is in front of you. There is um, easier cards and different and harder cards, and this scales well with players. Also, um, is good for all ages, and I think the kiddos will learn as they play and if they're not so good they will get better and for some reason my big bulky hands uh, didn't maneuver the cones as well as my kiddo did so she kicked my butt a lot of the time now that is 55 let's go over to 54. so 54 i don't have a box for um, I'm not gonna grab it. It's in like a shoe box, but I have a review on it So if you want to check out more information, but it is connect Four Launchers this surprised me when you hear connect Four, you just think you know, okay Well, we've all played connect Four checkers get get in a row, whatever. Well, this one adds catapults and it's such a slender um, kind, of, kind of structure and you're flicking these things and you're trying to get um, at least four of your checkers in there and if you get them all in a row well you win the game outright because you play this game in rounds so much fun way more fun than I thought I wish I could find the box for it but uh, I at least have all the components which is good but one thing I will say the stickers stink on this they stink they are terrible they keep falling off because I did get it at a thrift store so they were just doomed to begin with when I got it so that is 54 let's go over to the next one Okay, so 54 is a small box, and this is Elk Fest. All that's in here are some moose and flicking discs. And your moose wants to get over to the other side of the river and eat grass because the grass is always greener, right? So you're flicking these discs, which are stones, and your moose is going over those stones. Sometimes he'll get uh, dunked into the water and flip over and you will lose a turn. And it's just very, very simple. Um, I liked it more than I thought. When I got it, I was like, this is all the components. It's very bare, but you can put this in a bag and take it to a convention and have a flicking game at disposal, which is why I like it. Very portable. It's a easy to grasp concept, and it's 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 interesting. It's an interesting theme. So if you like it, and it sits here at 53. So let's move on. Oh yeah, we have a review of this one too. If you want to check it out, let's move on to 52. 52 is a game I only got to play once and was at my um, game store when I was doing the game nights on Wednesday and it was, was it the very first one I went to? Yeah, it was the very first one I went to and they had all these weird dexterity games this one person did and had copies of this. What uh, I'm rambling, rambling, it is Castle Crush. So you have different structures that you're building and you have this pendulum thing that is going to knock over these structures and it's just at it from first glance it's just such an interesting wooden game big components and i love creating stuff but i love knocking other people's stuff over more so it's it's such a weird concept but it works better than what you might think i cannot find this game i've ever since i played it i've been looking for this one but i'm not willing to spend like 100 bucks to get it imported so all right that is casual crush now the very last game for this list let's go to it All right, so the last one is Animal Upon Animal, and this is a hobby game, and this is just a staple in any um, game collection, if you have kids or not. It's just got these cute animals, and I've seen people take multiple of these sets that are different variants with different animals, and just do this crazy awesome structure. But having just one base set is fun. It's very simple. You're, uh, you're rolling a dice, it tells you how many to stack or where to put them. You do that, and you try not to knock animals over. If you do knock animals over, well, it's not the end of the world because you don't have to claim them all. You just got to claim, claim a couple. We have a review on this one if you want to check it out. It's an older review. Uh, careful. Um, but this is a stellar game. I love it. The production's fantastic. The idea of the game is simple. Kids love it, and so do adults. So 
that is the list for today. Really do appreciate you tuning in. Thank you so much for stopping on by. You could be anywhere, but you're here with me, and that makes me so happy. And if you haven't already, click like and subscribe. But bye, nation. Until the next time that I see you. My name is Dave, and have a great rest of your day. Great time with all of you play. You're already here on the game. Fine. Visit me in the next uh, list where we go over the 40s. Let's go. Vine Nation, we love making content here for you on the channel, and we're almost at 10,000 subscribers, so subscribe now and help us out. This video right here, I think you'll like. This video right here, YouTube thinks you'll like. Or you can just sit here and watch me dance the dinosaur for a little bit longer. You can visit us at our social media outlets, and we're going to be improving our Patreon here soon. That's all for today. Miko, it's time to go. Good girl, Miko.